Our God, Yahweh, and His Son, Yahweh Shah, we say Shabbat Shalom. We are the Israelites. We are not the equalites. If we keep God's laws, statutes, and commandments, we're above all people on the face of the earth. Am I right about it, brother? I want to hear that chatter today, brother. Am I right about it, brother? You know what I'm saying? And if we keep ourselves from mixing with the other people, we won't be cursed. Am I right, brother? That's right. God chose a special people. We are those that he chose. We can prove it in the Bible. We don't go by our feelings or our emotions. We go about what thus says the King James Bible. We don't go by any other Bible but the King James Bible. And so we're going to get some scriptures out here today that's going to give you a whirlwind of information. We have the data to prove all things like the book 1 of Thessalonians 5 and 21 says. So without anything else, let's get busy, brother. Read, brother. For we know that the Lord is spiritual. We know that the Lord is what? Spiritual. No, we know that the Lord is done away with. Spiritual. We. But I am carnal, so under sin. See, we know that the Lord is spiritual, but we are in sin. We are carnal people. But if we keep God's law, statutes, and commandments, it make us what? It makes us spiritual. Am I right, brother? That's what I'm talking about. It makes us spiritual. And the only people that's qualified to be spiritual is the Israelites. Am I right? That's right. Can't hear y'all, brother. I've heard so many complaints. So we got to pep it. Pep it up, brothers. Am I right about it, brothers? That's right. That's what I'm talking about. Read what you got, brother. Psalms chapter 116, verse 11. Read. I said, in my haste, all men are liars. See? He said in his haste, all men are liars. Why does it say that? Because all men are what? Liars. They are liars and they what? They can easily commit sin. But our God, Yahweh, he's not a sinful man. That's why he came as what? the unblemished lamb because that's what it had to be an unblemished lamb and he was the only one that was without sin that's why he was the only one that was qualified to die for the israelites am i right brothers that's right. read romans chapter 3 and verse 14 read brother for the bad let god be true read the verse up before that Romans chapter 3 verse 4. Read. God forbid. Yeah. Read Romans chapter 3 verse and then 4. Romans chapter 3 verse 1. 4. 3. Four. Read this Romans chapter 3. And start for what if some didn't believe and then read 3 and 4. For what if some did not believe? So what if a lot of people don't believe what this word say? So what if people don't believe that we are the real Jews? Read. Shall now unbelief make the faith of God without effect? Read. For God forbid. God forbid. No. Just because you don't believe, that don't mean that this word is not true. Read, brother. Yea, let God be true. Let who be true? Let God be true. No, let the preacher be true. Let God be true. Let the Sunday school teacher be true. Let God be true. We. But every man a liar. Let God be true and every man a liar. As it is written. Uh-huh. That thy mightest be justified in thy. Saying as mightest overcome when thy art judged. So when you might be able to overcome when thou art judged. Like it tell us in the book of Matthew chapter 24 and 13, it tell us that, uh, for those that endure to the end. You see, we got to endure to the end. A lot of churches tell you and the preachers tell you that you could be on your dying bed. And once you die, you can just all of a sudden, you've been living in sin all your life. 
But now all of a sudden you want to say, oh God, forgive me, and everything is copacetic with God. See, that's another lie that they're telling you that's going to cause you to go to hell. Because what they're telling you, they're telling you that it's okay for you to sin. Am I right? That's right. But God said that he gave no man a license to what? Sin. To sin. Read, brother. John, John chapter 7, verse 38. Read, brother. He that believeth on me. Wait a minute. He that what? Believe it on me. Uh-uh. He that believe it on what the preachers say. On me. Read. As, as the scriptures have said. Read. Out of his belly flow rivers of living water. He that believe it on me like the scripture has said. Out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. What's that living water? The commandment. The truth. Sanctification. Living in in in. in and gratitude and paying homage to our brothers and our sisters. Not having hate in your heart for your brothers and sisters. Speaking the truth about what this Bible is saying. Am I right, brother? That's right. Read, brother. Oh, verse chapter 23, verse 7. Read. Read, brother. For as he thinketh. For as he thinketh, read. In his heart. In his mind. So is he eat and drink, saith he to me, but his heart is not to me. See, he can say what he want to say out of his mouth. But the Bible is about action. You got to do these things. You can't just be hearing this word. The book of uh, James, chapter 1 and 22, it says, don't be just a hero. It says you got to be a doer of this word. So is it possible for you to die and you ain't doing nothing but living in sin and you're going to be able to get the kingdom? The Bible says you got to be doers of this word. Am I right, brother? That's right. You got to be a doer of this word. That takes work. If the Bible says that, what? It's hard for a righteous man to get to the kingdom. What makes you think you've been living in sin? You're going to be able to get to the kingdom all easy and smooth. Your preacher is a liar and he's going to the lake of fire. Read. Read, my brother. For God so loved the world. For God so loved who? The world. The world of the Israelites. Read. That he gave his only begotten son. Read on, brother. That whosoever believeth in him. Come on. Shall not perish, but have everlasting life. The Bible says, for God so loved the world. The most misunderstood scripture in the Bible. That's right. That God so loved the world. What world is he talking about? Is he talking about the entertainment world? Is he talking about the third world? Is he talking about what? The sea world? Is he talking about the sports world? No. He's talking about the world of the Israelites. Right. Because this Bible was not meant for anybody else but the Israelites. So now when they made it up to date this time, well, we think that he's saying that he's talking about everybody. But it's not. He's only talking to the Israelites from Genesis to Revelation. If you can show me where he's talking about anybody else in this Bible, like I say, I'll take you to lunch for a whole week and put $100 in your pocket. Read, brother. Acts chapter 5 and verse 29. Read, brother. Then Peter and the other apostles. Then Peter and the other apostles. Read. Answered and said. What did they say, brother? We have to obey God. Man. No, we can't obey God because what? These things are done away with. We got to believe the Pharisees. Read. <laughs> Acts chapter 5, verse 29. No, no, no. Read it again, brother. Acts chapter 5, verse 29. Read. Then Peter and the other apostles uh -huh. answered and said, We have to obey God, whoever did man. What do we have today? We have our brothers and our sisters, they always questioning God's word. But they sure don't have a problem going along with what the preachers say. They don't have a problem going along with what the vacation Bible study teachers say. They don't have a problem going along with any worldly thing, but when it comes to God, they have controversy. Read. Acts chapter 5, verse 30 to 31. Read. The God of our Father raised up... Wait a minute. The God of who? God of our Father. No, the God of everybody's Father. The God of our Father. Read. 
raised up Jesus. Uh huh. He slew. Uh huh. And hung on a tree. Read. Him had exalted. Him had God exalted. Read, hand. my brother. Him had God had exalted with His right hand. Uh huh. To be a prince. To be what? A prince. Uh huh. A savior. Read. For to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sin. No, forgive everybody. everybody. No, forgive everybody. Israel. The white man. Israel. The Russian man. Israel. The Chinese man. Israel. That's what it's talking about. Right. See what I'm saying? Israel. From Genesis to Revelation. Amen. That's what you're going to hear. You're going to hear about Israel. That's you're not right. going to be hearing about anything else. Am I right, brother? That's right. Don't people tell us that no, this Bible is for everybody. This Bible is a rich religious book. No, this Bible is our history book. Read what you got, brother. Job chapter 9 verse 24. Uh-oh, read, brother. The earth is given unto the hands of the wicked. The earth is given into the hands of who? The wicked. Who is the wicked? White the white man. man. Who is the wicked? White That's man. That's who is the wicked. And who's ruling right now? White man. Who's ruling? White man. Read, and his kingdom is almost over with. That's right. Read, brother. He covered him. The faces of the judges. See, he'd have painted us another color. He'd have painted us Moses white. When you look at the Ten Commandments, you got a white Moses, you got a white Jesus, you got all these lies that they're telling you. But the correction is what? Our God is a what? Black man. He is what? A black man. Read, brother. If, if not, well, and who is he? It say if, if he ain't the one that did it, who is? He's the only one that did it. Nobody else didn't even have the nerve or the power to do it. Only that demon, the white man, did it. Read. Psalms chapter 19, verse 7. Wait a minute. Psalms chapter 19 and verse 7. Read, brother. The law of the Lord is perfect. The law of the Lord is what? Perfect. Read. Converting the soul. We doing what? Converting the soul. Changing you. Read. The testimony of the Lord is sure. Uh-huh. Making wise the simple. That means if you don't know something, you didn't know something. If you're keeping these laws, statutes, and commandments, the law will give you the insight to be able to understand what this Bible is saying. Am I right, brother? That's right. You can go to any seminary or wherever it is that you want to go to. But if you're not keeping these laws, statutes, and commandments, you're not going to ever have any clarity. Read. Isaiah chapter 45 verse 15. Read, brother. But Israel shall, but Israel read. shall be saved in the Lord. Read that again, brother. Isaiah chapter 45 verse 17. Read. But Israel shall, but who? But Israel read. shall be saved in the Lord. Uh-huh. With everlasting salvation. With the what? Everlasting salvation. No, just temporarily. Everlasting salvation. Read. He shall not be ashamed. You shall not be ashamed. Nor confounded. Uh huh. Without end. It's our world without end. You shall not be confounded. You shall not be confused. This is our world. That's right. Because for God, He what? He made the world for whose sake? Israel. He made the world for the Israelites' sake. Read. Luke chapter one, verse sixty-eight. Read, brother. Blessed be the God of Israel. Wait a minute, man. You mean to tell me it's not saying blessed be the God of Israel?